What's in this, though? Listen. That's mannequins. Listen. I need to talk to you two. Why do we do all this cute footwork and combinations and all this advanced striking and all these like reactions, all this stuff where we chase people around, we cut them off and we listen to reactions and we faint. Why do we do all this stuff if y'all are gonna knock people out in 30 seconds? So we just start doing 45 second rounds. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down Cliff's fight. He fought at the Rumble in the River, is that what it's called? <coughs> Rumble in the River for showcase. <coughs> yeah, and put the guy away in seconds. So once again, we'll be able to show you the entire fight. You got me? Come here, Cliff! Get in the- we're doing a video! Oh my god, this guy. So Cliff's- all of Cliff's gear got stolen out of his truck because he left it in the back of a pickup truck and then went out to like bars and stuff. You're not even supposed to be out of bars and stuff. And uh, he was out at some nightclub, some booty dancing club. I wasn't. I was just there to get some meat, talk to a sponsor, that's it. I yeah, okay, he was doing that. business. Yeah, I was doing business. What time was it? Gentlemen's Club. It was like seven o'clock. It was seven. seven it was not seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not seven o'clock. Look, Rev Gear sent us uh, the Travel Locker XL. This is the big one. I have the small one. If you want to see my review of the bag, it's the same bag but just bigger. But check out what we got. New shin guards. These are the gel shin guards. They're like the most uh, like absorbent, absorbent, shock absorbent, protective. The S3 Sentinel gloves. My pull up spot. Shirts. They're larges though. Are you still a large yeah, after just... Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> no. Probably an XL right now, man. <laughs> but this is a big bag. I'll put links down in the description below. Uh, you these? can check out all these. Those are the Sentinels. Wow. No, I'm a fanatic for white. How are you gonna put? He hasn't even put those on his hands yet. Dude, relax. He's gonna hit on his hands. He's gonna. The hit dude hasn't. They've not been on anyone's hands. And you went and stuck your sweaty hand in there first thing oh, before. Oh man, look at the wrist support. That's the best part. Don't leave, hey, don't leave this in the back of your truck. No, this is, this is. Let's go. Circle and my, circle is back yep. off the wall. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Get your head up. Head up. Head, up. head out. Circle head the out. other way, Cliff. Pressure on the elbow. Pressure yep. on the elbow. Push the elbow yep. down. He doesn't have his hands locked. Doesn't have anything there. Look, if we can fight the wrist. Talk to him. Yeah, fight the hands. Fight the hands. Talk to him. Fight the hands. There you go. Pop that head out. Push his elbow down. There you go. Good job. Now make him pay for that. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Yeah. There we go. Your referee calls a hop of the action, 33 seconds into round number one for your winner by TKO, Lefton Davis! It was at this moment that we all got worried. <laughs> so we had this whole plan. So look, what is that? What is that moment? What are you doing right there Everything in that moment? Was slippery. <laughs> <laughs> that ring was slippery. And then also, the, I'm not going to blame it all on the ring, but like the ring was kind of like tilted a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, because we were we were outside in this like, it was literally right on the river. Like we were outdoors right on the river, so the ground was like this and the cage was like this. We were in the little river? Yeah, the ring was slippery. It was not slippery when we warmed up. Cliff came back into the dressing room afterwards. Now, first of all, he beat the guy up in 40-something seconds. Congratulations. Good job. You're the winner, right? Guy comes back into the dressing room. <laughs> we can go again. He's like this right here. And he goes, he goes, Mike, come here. Mike, come here. And I'm like, no, nah, man. He's like, come here. I want to see something. And I'm like, no, dude. You don't need to see nothing. You won. He was like, he, he knows. Only he knows and only I know. What he did wrong. Because to us, we had this plan for this like striking clinic. Yeah. We were going to put on this like, because we knew that this guy had was nowhere near the level of striking as you. But what happens? We see we see our moment. 
Can we go for it? Just like I begged Nate. I begged Nate, like, let's showcase your skills. And you're like, nah, I don't want to fight anymore. Fighting's scary and it sucks and it's hard. You know, you got aggressive and then you're like, and you try to sit down, you realize you, you couldn't get your footing. So you're like, screw it, let's shoot. Beautiful. Did you plan to go to your corner? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you plan to do that? Yeah. <laughs> he put him right in front of us. And um, I was like, dude, so Cliff trains full time at uh, a gym called Fitness Edge MMA with a bunch of professional fighters. They've got uh, Bellator veterans there. They got UFC fighters there. Um, it's the place to go. But he's at the stage in his fighting career where he's like, going around and like shopping for different new looks. So he does a lot of his striking training here. So I was there strictly in the capacity of striking coach. That's all I was there for. He had a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt there and then a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt and then me. That's what was in his corner. Come on, Jordan. So, yeah, so yeah. so once they hit the ground, I'm like, all right, but I don't need to be here anymore. I was gonna go get a corn dog, right? The guillotine. Corn dogs. Did he, was it tight? It was it was squeezing my head. He was squeezing your head. He was squeezing. He my couldn't. Head. Could he not? Get, could you not get his arm off because of the? Couldn't get past the locks. Because of the locks, because I had my locks in the cornrows and cornrows, and then it was just I friction. Know, yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know whether to. I didn't know whether to go ahead and rip it lock or just wait. His arm was so, supposed to get tired. Yeah. But this guy was one of these like country guys, like. They squeeze and then you're yeah, like, he, okay, get tired, get he tired. Just, just, he, he just kept it going. Squeeze. So <laughs> Hay bale lift motherfuckers. And he started to circle the, the wrong way mm -hmm. where it make it tighter. Yeah. And then it got quiet and still. And me and Cody and Jordan were all like, we were like, he ain't got it, he ain't got it, he ain't got it. And that was when I was thinking, like, should I rip a lock or should I just go ahead and just wait? And I got kind of panicked too because I was like kind of stuck there for a little bit. So I was like, you know what, just, just rip one. I should be all right. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. Don't tap that guillotine. No. I, I quit being your friend. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened is the guy realized there was no way he was getting up from underneath him. We didn't do any, like zero of what we played. It's the same story with him. Like why do I, why am I holding pads? Why am I holding pads for half an hour, 45 minutes at a time? We're doing all this cute footwork and I'll heavy I'll tell you what worked though, was adapting on the feet. Cause it was a time where I took that what I did slip. Yeah. And you, you stood your ground yeah, instead of- my ground. Cliff used to used to be one of these guys. If you find his old fights, he did a lot of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he sat down and let that motherfucker know. Boom. Yeah, and I it kept went, going even even though uh, my jab didn't work right when I wanted to do it. It kind of hit him like, like I don't know where it hit him, but it, it like, stopped him. It like a, a corkscrew jab. Or yeah. Something like that. It let him know you're gonna fight. Blast doubles him across the planet. <laughs> Spears him like Goldberg. It just felt right, and I've been working on that double leg for like. The whole training camp, just to... Yeah, so I was there for moral support. <laughs> I got to say hands up one time. 6'5". Dude, I fought with six foot five. Uh oh For nothing. Overrated. Being tall is overrated. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's John Jones. But he's tall. What are you doing? What are you doing? What did you just do? I didn't do anything. I fell. It fell. No, no. You just picked I your grody... Gangrenous toes and threw the toenail on him. Pick I that didn't up. throw Pick it. Pick that it up. Out of my hand. It's on camera, dude. Pick that up. I saw you. <laughs> but I didn't throw it. This is what we're talking about. He's like, why don't you do that? I was because you can't stay out of digging out of your nose and your crotch and now your toes, man. Stop digging at yourself. It bounced on the ground. And 